So in December 2011, uh, scientists noticed from um, spacecraft observations that there was a sun-grazing comet coming very close to the sun. And a sun-grazing comet is a general term for a specific type of comet that will have a, a perihelion or minimum orbital distance very, very near the sun. And uh, it, it's thought that these, are, that these comets uh, represent um, smaller fragments of a parent body that may have come close to the sun and broken apart some 15 to 1,600 years ago. And so every um, 500 to 600 to 700 years later, we'll see parts of this comet come around. Comet Webjoy came within um, about a tenth of the solar diameter, um, which is very close to the sun and within the atmosphere of the sun that we call the solar corona. And you can see in these coronagraphs observations this comet coming slowly and then quicker and quicker and then passing very quickly by the sun. The fact that Lovejoy survived its passage to the sun was very interesting. Typically, these comets fragment very, very near to the sun's surface due to the harsh radiation environment. What was very interesting to solar physicists, people who study the, the solar corona, was that the tail of comet Lovejoy seemed to exhibit very unusual motions. It wiggled in some places. And the motion of the tail was very unexpected if you don't consider the sun's magnetic field. And that's what we did here in this work.